Crab boats are basically all homemade made out of junk. But some of them are pretty impressive. Um, not this one, but I've seen some that are admirable. We got the crab pot rack here, which we put bait on. We put the crates of crabs. I try to keep weight off of it. I try to use it for things like putting bait on, stepping on and off. We do put some crabs on here, but it gets really heavy and it makes the stern sit really low and the boat doesn't quite ride right. This rack actually has a pretty cool twist to it. I'll give you a hint here. There's a chain right there. I'll show you why that chain's on here in a minute. I hate to show you this, but I'll show you inside the cabin. The cabin is a disgusting mess and I'm embarrassed by it, but we work, we've been working every day crabbing, not every single day, but like if I'm not on the boat crabbing, I'm selling crabs. Me and a bunch of guys in here every day working as fast and as hard as we can. So cleanliness is not exactly our uh, number one priority right now. I installed these super high tech locks they're supposed to be like bulletproof and you know super secure i don't want anybody breaking in there are also my plexiglass windows here and here uh, these used to be glass but i'm an idiot and uh i think this one i broke i was trying to take the engine box off by myself with the oyster rig on and i couldn't get it off somehow i had it up here and it busted this window out this one i don't remember maybe i threw a wrench in it we got a doorknob that doesn't turn uh, and we got a switch, what's left of a switch, that does nothing. Now here it is, the Taj Mahal, my corner office. Oh, it's disgustingly hot in here. So this is my captain's chair. This is a cushion off of a lawn chair or something that I think blew off of somebody's pier and I found it floating, dried it out, and I've been sitting on it for years. We got super nice windows. I'm telling you, on every crab boat, if they won't open, there's a secret pattern to get them open. It works on every crab boat. I'll show you. If you shut it and it won't open, you take it, hit, 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 opens every time, like a glove. This is custom work here, that's art. Steering wheel with a suicide knob on here from Tractor Supply. I have a reminder to turn the power inverter off because it will kill my batteries if I don't. Some really nice Cobalt controls that are far too nice for this boat. Got my set of spectacles so I can spy on all the other crabbers to see what they're catching so I can go lay right next to them and catch the crabs out of their pots. I'm just kidding. Actually a very nice fusion radio and amp that uh, definitely doesn't deserve to be on this boat because it's just too nice. Uh, Ray Marine plotter here, not something I would ever probably spend that much money on. Actually, after owning one, I probably would. Uh, that came with the boat and I thought, wow, that is really unnecessary, but I actually love this thing. It, it's, it's great. This one does all my chart plotting and this one does depth. You could do both, but I like to have a full screen plotter so I can run my lines and everything and lay, lay rows right back where I picked them up off of. These are some treasures I've found from the bay. Some of the better ones here. These are all fishing lures. We're stuck on crab pots, all kinds of interesting stuff. Got two VHF radios that I don't really ever use, to be honest, I'm not a radio guy. If I wanted to get my feelings hurt, I would turn them on, but I don't, so I leave them off. Here we have the starfish, my first mega viral video. This is one of those growing animals and I put it in the bottom of one of CJ, my buddy who's a crabber's crab pot to see if it would expand. I thought it was gonna like blow up so big you couldn't get it out of the crab pot. It flopped and it didn't really get much bigger than this. It did get like 40 million views on TikTok. So we kept the starfish just kind of as a reminder that even the dumbest things sometimes do really well on the internet. This is my windshield wiper. I have really nice windshield wipers here. And they work perfectly. When these ones are working, I can just help them out and you know. This is definitely not from a gas station. So the rest of the cabin, we just got, you know, some stickers. You're not paid to think. A mindless worker is a happy worker. Shut up and do your job. Something to live by. Basically a bench full of stuff. I got a non-marine battery charger, charging my house batteries, which are two six volt golf cart batteries that run this inverter for the fan just when it's really hot and it runs that machine that makes hot water to clean crab pots in that tank. Spare parts. You never know when you're gonna need a random section of wire. A spare Raycor, cause I had to rebuild my other one on the fly. Some rope, funnels, caterpillar paint to make parts look brand used. I don't even know what that's in here for. Bag of call sticks, knives, fly bait. Just the necessities, really. Definitely a fire extinguisher because you never know when things are gonna spontaneously burst into flames. It does happen here, occasionally. A cushion, the pinnacle of luxury. 
lighters so the boys can get their cigarettes in, keep them healthy. Oh wow, that one works. Here's where we have all of the electric stuff, winder parts, plumbing, and fuel and belts. The hardware, extra orbit motor, liner plates, the whole nine. Thing is, when you're out in the middle of the bay, you need most of the things that might break and leave you stranded. You gotta at least be able to fix what you broke or replace it. So I have things that like extra hydraulic orbit motors and liners so that if I'm out and working and something like that goes wrong, I don't have to waste the day and come in. I can fix it out there and at least finish the day instead of just going in empty handed. No crab boat would be complete with a hundred half drank bottles of drinks. Every captain knows that. WD-40, this is a brand new can, just got it like a week ago. That limited edition spray lid. A couple hammers here. We're in the middle of the crabbing season grinding. So it is just a mess. I mean, it's an absolute mess. Trash cans overflowing. We got our Grundens boots. Huge shout out to Grundens. We love Grundens. My minty toolbox. I mean, look at this. This thing really is nice. I've had this toolbox since I found it in a dumpster. I had it on my old crab boat, the Widow. The hinge in the back, it's still working. It's working about one third as well as it used to. But I put this piece of plastic on the bottom so that, uh, I can keep using it, you know? I don't want to throw it out. It's got value, man. Look at this thing. It's got everything I need in it. Look at all these hammers. No work boats complete without a random stack of expensive Grunnens gear, some rags, and then everybody just has a crate full of just whatever, you know? Old bags we can use as hawk flags when we need to, gloves, all kinds of good stuff. Look at that brand new pair of boots back there. Brand new pair. We'll see what we got in here. This is where the good stuff is. We got our air horn, voltmeter, peroxide, in case you get thirsty, brake cleaner, in case you need to clear your sinuses, first aid kit, I don't know what that's for, wambulance or something. Some on off here for cleaning the hull, which we never do. Actually, when I made the wiring harness for this motor, when I installed it, I had to make a custom wiring harness chart. So I can't believe that I haven't lost this, honestly. Super sophisticated stuff here. Can't buy this level of quality even. So this thing is pretty cool. And this, is for that rack back there. Remember how I mentioned that earlier? There's a little twist to it. I have to just over-engineer stuff. And I'm just like, I like to tinker. When I built it, I thought, man, what if I have to get into spaces where the boat won't exactly fit? I've got to get all this junk off of it. The guys are going to kill me in the morning. I'm undoing all their, all their uh, hard work. They have a little system here. They'll get over it. So if you take this, oh, it still works. Turn it on, then press extend. Tension is building. Hook it in there, and then watch this. Oh wait, I forgot. I gotta take the stern lines off. This would not end well. All right, drum roll. Look at that. Turns out it's kind of just so big and obtuse and kind of such a pain in the butt that we just leave it down all the time. And I've used it to be able to pick things up actually out of the water. Other than that, probably not worth the extra engineering, but who else has a retractable stern rack built out of trash? I mean, how cool is that? Built trusses out of the angle iron because it was so flimsy without it. So I made a little truss system. There's two of them in there. Pivots on this little thing here. This is a hinge. So this is actually a piece of I-beam and I filleted the I-beam in half and then welded a piece of bar stock solid steel rod and then just drilled holes in a six by six and plated it uh, to make a hinge. So now it pivots on that and this bolts in. The rack, these pieces of C-channel, which was a piece of square tube that I ripped in half with a circular saw, lays on this thing. Most of the weight is bared from here to here. So it's not quite as hard on the boat, I don't think, as it would be if you just pinned the rack to the very back of the boat. All these slats were these weird aluminum things. It looked like a tiny, tiny aluminum ladder with all the rungs in between. We just cut the rungs out of it with a circular saw, screwed all these down like planking, and it works really good, actually. And we gotta shut the windows so the raccoons don't get in. If there's anything I missed that you wanna know about or wanna see, drop a comment. Basically, everything on a crab boat has to be 
luke proof or like pretty much industrial grade and they don't make much stuff that's like luke proof because if you can build it i can break it so yeah crab boats are basically all homemade